Good evening, everyone, and welcome to South Shore Theater's production of Proof. My name's Matt Stashen, and it was my pleasure to be able to direct this production. Um, so you're aware the cast will consist of uh, the role of Catherine is played by Olivia Diaz. The role of Hal is being played by Giovanni Marine. The role of Robert is played by Gary Teifeld. And the role of Claire is played by Leslie Wade. Uh, again, thank you all very, very much for joining us tonight. Uh, if you wish to make a donation to the theater and you haven't done it as of yet, you can go to southshoretheater.com mm -hmm. and make your donation there. The directions are there. And please note there will be a five minute intermission between the two acts. Right, thank you all very much and enjoy the show. Act one, scene one. Night. Catherine sits in a chair. She is exhausted, haphazardly dressed, eyes closed. Robert is standing behind her. He is Catherine's father. Rumpled academic look. Catherine does not know he is there after a moment. Can't sleep. You, you scared me. Sorry. What are you, what are you doing here? And I thought I'd check up on you. Why aren't you in bed? Uh, your, your student's still here. He's up in your study. He can let himself out. Might as well wait up till he's done. He's not my student anymore. He's teaching now. Bright kid. Uh, what time is it? It's almost one. Huh. After midnight. So? So? Happy birthday! Dad. <laughs> Do I ever forget? Thank you. Oh, 25! I can't believe it. Neither can I. Should we have it now? It's up to you. Yes. <laughs> uh, you want me to open it? No. Let me. Last time you opened a bottle of champagne out here, you broke a window. That was a long time ago, and I resent you bringing it up. You're lucky you didn't lose an eye. <laughs> Oh, 25. Oh, I feel old. Ah, you're a kid. Uh, glasses? Oh, God damn it! I forgot the glasses. You want me to... No. I hope you like it. I wasn't sure what to get you. This is the worst champagne I have ever tasted. Well, I am proud to say that I don't know anything about wines. I hate those kind of people who are always talking about vintages. It's not even champagne. Well, the bottle was the right shape. Great Lakes Vineyards. Huh, I didn't know they made wine in Wisconsin. A girl who's drinking from the bottle shouldn't complain. Don't, 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 don't guzzle it! It's an elegant beverage. Sip. Do you? Nah, go ahead. You sure? Yeah, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to me. And what are you going to do on your birthday? Uh, drink this. Have some. Nah. I hope you're not spending your birthday alone. I'm not alone. I don't count. Why not? I'm your old man. Go out with some friends. Right. Well, your friends aren't taking you out? Uh, no. Why not? Uh, because in order for your friends to take you out, you generally have to have friends. Ah, it's funny how that works. You have friends. What about that, that cute blonde? Uh, uh, what's her name? What? You know, she lives, uh, she lives over on Ellis Avenue. You used to spend every minute together. Cindy Jacobson? Cindy Jacobson. I was in third grade, Dad. Her family moved to Florida in 1999. What about Claire? Uh, she's not my friend. She's my sister. And she's in New York. And I don't like her. I thought she was coming in. Not till tomorrow. My advice, if you find yourself awake late at night, is to sit down and do some mathematics. Oh, please. We could do some together. No. <laughs> oh, why not? because I can't think of anything worse. Are you sure you don't want any? Yeah, thanks. You used to love it. 
not anymore. You knew what a prime number was before you could read. <laughs> yeah, well, now I've forgotten. Don't waste your talent, Catherine. I knew you'd say something like that. I realize you've had a difficult time. Thank you. That's not an excuse. Don't be lazy. I haven't been lazy. I've been taking care of you. Kid, I've seen you. You sleep till noon, you eat junk, you don't work, the dishes pile up in the sink. If you do go out, it's to buy magazines. You come back with a stack of magazines this high. Now, I don't even know how you read that crap. And those are the good days. Some days you don't get up, you don't get out of bed. Mm, those, those are the good days. Bullshit. Those days are lost. You throw them away, and you'll never know what else you threw away with them. The work you lost, the ideas you didn't have, discoveries you never made because you were moping in your bed at four in the afternoon. You know I'm right. I've lost a few days. How many? I, I don't know. Oh, I bet you do. What? I bet you count. Knock it off. Well, do you know or don't you? I don't. Of course you do. How many have you lost? A month. Around a month. Exactly. I don't know. How many? 33 days. Exactly. I don't know. Be precise. I slept till noon today. Call it 33 and a quarter days. Yes. All right. You're kidding. No. Amazing number. It's a depressing fucking number. Catherine, if every day you say you've lost were a year, it would be a very interesting fucking number. 33 and a quarter years is not interesting. Stop it. You know exactly what I mean. 1,729 weeks. 1,729. Great number. The smallest number expressible. Expressible as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. 12 cubed plus 1 cubed equals 1,729. And 10 cubed plus 9 cubed. Yes, we've got it. Thank you. You see? Even your depression is mathematical. Now stop moping and get to work. Ugh, the kind of potential you have. I haven't done anything good. You're young. You got time. I do? Yes. By the time you were my age, you were famous. By the time I was your age, I'd already done my best work. What about after? After what? After you got sick. What about it? You couldn't work then. No, if anything, I was, I was sharper. <laughs> Dad. I was. It's true. The, the clarity. That was the amazing thing. No doubts. You were happy? Yeah, I was busy. That's not the same thing. I don't see the difference. I knew what I wanted to do, and I did it. If I wanted to work a problem all day long, I did it. If I wanted to look for information, uh, secrets, complex and tantalizing messages, I could find them all around me. In the air, in a pile of fallen leaves that some neighbor had raked together, in box scores in the paper, written in the steam coming up off a cup of coffee. The whole world was talking to me. If I just wanted to close my eyes and sit quietly on the porch and listen for those messages, I did that. It was wonderful. How old were you when it started? Mid twenties. 23, four. Is that what you're worried about? I have thought about it. Just getting a year older means nothing, Catherine. It's not just getting older. It's me. I thought about it. Really? How could I not? <laughs> well, if that's why you're worried, you're not keeping up with the medical literature. There are all kinds of factors. It's not simply something you inherit. Just because I went bug house doesn't mean that you will. Dad. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Life changes fast in your early 20s, and it shakes you up. You're feeling down. It's been a bad week. You've had a lousy couple of years. No one knows that better than me. 
but you're going to be okay. Yeah. Yes. I promise you. Push yourself. Don't read so many magazines. Sit down, get the machinery going, and I swear to God, you'll feel fine. The simple fact that we can even talk about this together is a good sign. A good sign? Yes. How can it be a good sign? <laughs> because crazy people don't sit around wondering if they're nuts. They don't? Of course not. They got better things to do. <laughs> Take it from me. A very good sign that you're crazy is an inability to ask the question, am I crazy? Even if the answer is yes? Well, crazy people don't ask. You see? Yes. So, if you're asking... I'm not. But, but it, if, if you were, it would be a very good sign. A good sign. A good sign that you're fine. Right. <laughs> you see? You just gotta think these things through. Now, come on. What do you say? Let's call it a night. You go up, get some sleep. Then in the morning, we can look Wait, at this. Wait, no. What's the matter? It, it doesn't work. Why not? It doesn't make sense. Sure it does. No. What's the problem? The problem is you're crazy. And what difference does that make? You admitted. You just, you just told me that you are. So? You said a crazy person would never admit that. Yeah, but it's... Oh, I see. So? It's a point. So how can you admit it? Well, because I'm also dead. Aren't I? You died a week ago. Heart failure, quick. Funerals tomorrow. That's why Claire's flying in from New York. Yes. But, but you're, you're sitting here, you're, you're giving me advice. You, you brought me champagne. Yes. Which means... For you? Yes. For you, Catherine, my daughter, who I love very much, it could be a bad sign. What? Uh, God, sorry, uh, did, did I wake you? What? Were you asleep? You, you, you scared me for Christ. What, what are you doing? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize it had gotten so late. I, I, I'm done for the night. Good. Drinking alone? Yes. Champagne, huh? Yes. Celebrating? No, I, I just like champagne. Yeah, it's festive. What? Uh, festive, you know. Do you want some? Uh, sh sure. I'm done. You can take the rest with you. Oh, uh, no, 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 thanks. Take it. I, I'm done. No, no, I, I shouldn't. I'm, I'm driving. Well, I, I can let myself out. Good. When should I uh, come, come back? Come back? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, no, I'm nowhere near done. I, I, with it. Maybe, maybe tomorrow? We have a funeral tomorrow. Oh God, God, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I, I, I was going to attend if that's all right. Yes. What about Sunday? Will you be around? You've had three days. I'd love to get some more time up there. 
How much longer do you need? Mm, another week at least. <laughs> Are you joking? No. Do you know how much stuff there is up there? A week? I, I know you, you don't need anybody in your hair right, right now. Um, so look, I, I spent the last couple of days getting everything sorted out. It, it, it's mostly notebooks. You know, he, he, he dated them all. You know, now I've got them all in order. I, I don't have to work here. You know, I can take some home, bring it back. No. I'll, I'll be careful. No, I, my father would want anything moved and I don't want anything to leave this house. Then I should take, then I should work here. You know, I'll, I'll stay out of the way. You're wasting your time. Someone needs to go through your dad's papers. There's nothing up there. It's garbage. There are 103 notebooks. I've looked at those. It's gibberish. S someone should read them. He was crazy. Yes, but he wrote them. He was a graphomaniac. Harold, do you know what that is? I know. He, he wrote compulsively. I mean, call me how. There's no connection between the ideas. There's no ideas. It's like a monkey at a typewriter. 103 notebooks full of bullshit. Let's make sure they're all bullshit. I'm sure. I'm prepared to look at every page, are you? No, I'm not crazy. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be late. Some, uh, some friends of mine are in this band. They're, they're playing uh, on, on, at a bar up on Diversy. W way down the bill, you know, they're probably gonna go on around 2, 2.30. Yeah, I told, them I, I told them I showed up. I'd show up, so. Great. They're all in the math department. They, they, you know, they're really good. They, they, uh, they have this uh, great song. You'd like it. Uh, it's called um, Lowercase I. You know, they, <laughs> they just stand there and don't play anything for like three minutes. <laughs> Imaginary number. It's a math joke. <laughs> you, you see why they're way down on the bill. Long drive to see some nerds in a band. God, you know, I hate when people say that. It, and it's not that long of a drive. So they are nerds? Oh, they're raging geeks. <laughs> but they're geeks who, you know, can dress themselves, hold down a job at a major university. Some of them have switched from glasses to contacts. They play sports. They play in a band. They get laid surprisingly often. So, I mean, in a sense, it, it makes you sort of question the whole set of terms, geek, nerd, wonk, weeb, Dilbert, paste, eater. You're in this band, aren't you? Okay, yes, I play the drums. You, you wanna come? I, I don't sing, I swear to God. No, thanks. All right. Look, Catherine, Monday, what do you say? Don't you have a job? Yeah, I have a full teaching load this quarter, plus my own one. Plus band practice, oh. I, Hey, I don't have time to do this, but I'm going to, if you'll let me. I loved your dad. I don't believe that a mind like his can just shut down. He had lucid moments. He, he, had, he had a lucid year, a whole four years ago. It, it wasn't a year. It was, it was more like nine months. A school year. He, he was advising, advising students. I, I was stalled on my PhD, and I, I was like this close to quitting, you know? I met with your dad, and he put me on the right track. I, I owe him. Sorry. Look, let me, you're 25, right? How old are you? It, it doesn't matter, just listen. Fuck I, you, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 28, all right? But when your dad was younger than both of us, he made major contributions to three fields, uh, game theory, uh, algebraic geometry, and nonlinear operator theory. Most of us can never wrap our heads around one. He basically invented the mathematical techniques for studying rational behavior, which economists have been milking for Nobels ever since. And he gave the astrophysicists plenty to work over too, okay? Don't lecture me. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm telling you, if I came up with one tenth of the shit that you're Father produced, I could write my own ticket to any math department in the country. Give me your backpack. What? Give me your backpack. Why? I want to look inside it.
not, open it and give it to me. Oh, come on. You're not taking anything out of this house. I wouldn't do that. You're hoping to find something upstairs that you can publish. Sure. Then you can write your own ticket. What? No, no, I, I would, it would be under your dad's name. It would be for your dad. I don't believe you. You have a notebook in that backpack. What are you talking about? Give it to me. You're being a little bit paranoid. <sighs> paranoid? Maybe a little. Fuck you, Hal. Look, I, I, I know you have one of my notebooks. I, I think you should calm down and just think about what you're saying. I'm saying that you're lying to me and, and stealing my family's property. And, and I think that sounds paranoid. Okay, just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean there isn't something in that backpack. You said it yourself. Th there's nothing up there, didn't you? Uh, didn't you just say that? Yes. So what would I take, right? You're right. Thank you. So you don't need to come back. Please, uh, someone should know for sure whether or not these Look, things- I lived with him. Okay, I, I, I spent my life with him. I, I fed him, talked to him, tried to listen when he talked, talked to people who weren't there. Watched him shuffling around like a ghost, a very smelly ghost. He was filthy. I had to make sure he bathed my, my own father. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have. Uh... You know, after my mother died, it was just me here. I, I, I tried to keep him happy no matter what idiotic project he was doing. He used to read all day. He kept demanding more and more books. I took them out of the library by the car load. You know, we, we had hundreds upstairs. Then I realized he wasn't reading. He believed aliens were sending him messages through the Dewey Decimal numbers on the library books. He was trying to work out the code. What kind of messages? Beautiful mathematics, the most Elegant proofs, perfect proofs, proofs like music. Sounds good. Yeah, plus fashion tips, knock knock jokes. I, it was nuts, okay? He was ill, it was a tragedy. Later, the writing phase, scribbling 19, 20 hours a day. I ordered him a case of notebooks and he used every one. I, I dropped out of school. I'm glad he's dead. I understand why, why you feel that way. Fuck you. You're right. Okay, I, I can't imagine dealing with that, okay? It, mu it must have been awful. I, I know you- You don't know have... me, okay? But I want to be alone. I, I don't want him around. Him? I, I don't- You, you. I, I don't want you here. Why? He's dead. But I'm not. He's- I, I'm, I'm... He's dead, okay? I don't need any protégés around. There, there will be others. What? You think I'm the only one? I mean, people are already working over his stuff. Someone's going to read those notebooks. I'll do it. You. He's my father. I'll do it. You, you can't. Why not? You, you don't have the math. I mean, it's all just squiggles on a page. You, you wouldn't know the good stuff from the junk. It's all junk. If it's not, we can't afford to miss any through carelessness. I know mathematics. Look, if there's anything up there, it would be pretty high order, okay? It would take a professional to recognize it. I think I could recognize it. Kathy. What? I know your dad taught you some basic stuff, but come on. You don't think I could do it. I'm sorry, I... I know that you couldn't. Catherine snatches his backpack. Oh, come, come on! Come, give me a break! Catherine removes... This isn't an airport. One by one, she finds a water bottle, some workout clothes, an orange, drumsticks, nothing else. She puts everything back in it and gives it back. You can come tomorrow. The um, University Health Service is uh, 
Very good. My mom died a couple of years ago and I, I was pretty broken up. Also work wasn't going that well. And I, I went over and talked to this doctor. I saw him for a couple of months. It, it really helped. I'm fine. Also, exercise is great. You know, I, I run along the lake a couple of mornings a week. It's not too cold yet. If you wanted to come sometime, you know, I could pick you up. We, we wouldn't even have to talk, you know. No, thanks. I'm going to be late for my show, so I uh, better go. Okay. I mean, it's seriously like 20 minutes like up to the club we go on we play we're terrible but we you know we buy everyone drinks afterward to make up for it you know you're home by what four four thirty tops good night good night oh wait your coat no no, no you, you you don't have to Catherine picks up his jacket as she does a composition notebook that was folded up and the coat falls to the floor she picks it up trembling with rage Paranoid? Wait. You think I should go jogging? Just hold on. Get out. Can I can I just please get, get the a minute? fuck out of my house? Okay, just listen to me for a minute. You stole this. Okay, no, let me explain. You stole it from me. You, you, you stole it from my father. I, I want to show you something. Okay, will you calm down? Give it back. Just, just wait a minute. I'm calling the police. Don't. Okay, look, 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 I, I borrowed the book, all right? I, I'm sorry, I, I just, I picked it up before I came downstairs and thought that I did. Uh, hello? I did it for a reason. Uh, hello, police? I, uh, yes, I, I'd like to report a, a robbery in progress. I, I noticed something, something your father wrote, all right? Not math, something he wrote. Just here, let me show you. Uh, yes, a uh, robbery. Would you put the fucking phone down? Just uh, listen yes. to me. Uh, um, I'm at uh, 5724 South. It's about you, see, you. It was written about you. Here is your name, Kathy. See? Uh, South. Um... A good day. Some very good news from Catherine. I didn't know what that referred to, but I, I thought that maybe. When did he write you, this? You... I think four years ago. The, the handwriting is steady. It, it must have been during his remission. There's, there's more. Machinery is not working yet, but I am patient. That the machinery is what he called his mind and his ability to do mathematics. I know. Um, I, I know I'll get there. I, I am an auto mechanic who, after years of greasy work on a hopeless wreck, turns the ignition and hears a faint cough. I am not driving yet, but there's cause for optimism. Talking with students helps. So does being outside, eating meals in restaurants, riding buses, all the activities of normal life. Most of all, the years she has lost caring for me, I almost wrote wasted. Yet her refusal to let me be institutionalized or keeping me at home, caring for me herself has certainly saved my life. Made this writing, made writing this possible, made it possible to imagine doing math again. Where does the strength come from? I can never repay her. Today is her birthday, she is 21 taking her to dinner, uh, dated September 4th, um, that's, that's tomorrow. That's today. Right. I, I thought you might want to see it. I, I, I shouldn't have tried to sneak it out. So tomorrow I, I was, I'm stupid now. I. I was going to wrap it. Happy birthday. <laughs> Shit. Scene two. The next morning, Claire drinks coffee from a mug. She has brought bagels and fruit on a tray out to the porch. She arranges them on two plates. She notices the champagne bottle lying on the floor. She picks it up and sets it on a table. Catherine enters. 
Her hair is wet from a shower. Better. Much. Thanks. You feel better? Yeah. You look a million times better. Have some coffee. Okay. How do you take it? Uh, just black. Have a little milk. Do you want a banana? Yeah, it, it's a good thing I brought food. There was nothing in the house. Uh, I, I've been meaning to go shop. Yeah. Have a bagel. Uh, no, I, I hate breakfast. Oh, you didn't put on the dress? I, I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> Don't you want to try it? I mean, see if it fits. I'll put it on later. If you want to dry your hair, I have a hair dryer. No. Nope. Did you use the conditioner I bought you? I, no. Shit, I, I forgot. Oh, God, it's my favorite. You'll love it, Katie. I want you to try it. I'll use it next time. you like it. It has jojoba. <laughs> what is jojoba? Something you put in for healthy hair. <laughs> hair is dead. What? It, it's, it's dead tissue. You can't make it healthy. <sighs> All right, whatever. It's something that's good for your hair. What, a, a chemical? No, no, it's organic. It can be organic and still be a chemical. Look, I, I don't know what it is. It, Haven't you ever heard of organic chemistry? It makes my hair feel, look, and smell good. That is the extent of my information about it. You might like it if you decide to use it. Thanks. I will try it. Good. Oh, if the dress doesn't fit, we can go downtown and exchange it. Okay. I'll take you to lunch. Maybe someday before I go back? I mean, do you need anything? Like clothes? Or anything while I'm here? No, I'm, I'm cool. Uh, I thought we'd have some people over tonight, if you're feeling okay. I'm feeling okay, Claire, stop saying that. You don't have any plans? No. Well, I ordered some food, some wine, beer. <laughs> We're burying Dad this afternoon. I think it'll be all right. I mean, anyone who's come to the funeral and, and wants to come over afterwards can. And it's the only time I get to see my old Chicago friends. Oh, it'll be nice. It's a funeral, but we don't have to be completely grim about it. If that's okay with you. been a stressful time. I, I think it would be good, you know, to relax in, in, in a low-key kind of a way. Mitch says hi. Hi, Mitch. You know, he, he's really sorry that he couldn't come. Mm, yeah, he's gonna miss all the fun. Well, he wanted to see you. He sends love. I told him you'd see him soon enough. We're getting married. Oh shit. Yeah, just decided. Yikes. Yes. When? January. Huh. Oh, we're not gonna do a huge thing. I mean, his parents are gone to Chess City Hall, then a big dinner at our favorite restaurant with all our friends. Oh, and you, of course. Hope you'll be in the wedding. Yeah, yeah, of course. Congratulations, Claire. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for you. Oh, thanks, me too. Oh, look, we just decided it was time. His job is great. I just got a promotion. Huh. 
you will come. Yeah, sure. January, I, I mean, I don't have to check my calendar or anything, so. <laughs> oh, that makes me very happy. <sighs> How are you? Okay. Uh, I mean, how how are you feeling about everything? About everything? Well, about about Dad. What about him? Well, how are you feeling about his death? Are you all right? Yes, I am. Honestly? Yes. Yeah, I think in some ways it was the right time. Uh, if if there ever is a right time. Uh, do you know what you want to do now? No. Do you want to stay here? I don't know. Or do you want to go back to school? I haven't thought about it. it there is a lot for you to think about, Catherine. I mean, uh, how do you feel? Physically? Great. Except my, my hair seems kind of unhealthy. I wish there was something I could do about that. Come on, Catherine. What is the point of all these questions? <sighs> Katie. <clears throat> Some policeman came by while you were in the shower. Yeah. They said they were checking up on things here. I mean, it was <laughs> seeing how everything was this morning. That was nice. Well, they told me they responded to a call last night and came to the house. Yeah. Did you call the police last night? Yeah. Why? Uh, I, I thought the house was being robbed. But it wasn't. Uh, no, no, I, I changed my mind. First you call 911 with an emergency and then you hang up on them? I, I, I didn't really want them to come. So why did you call? I was trying to get this guy out of the house. Who? Uh, one of Dad's students. Dad hasn't had students for years. No, he, he, he was Dad's student. Now he's, he's, a, he's a mathematician. What was he doing in the house in the first place? Well, he's been coming here to look at Dad's notebooks. In the middle of the night? It was late. I, I was waiting for him to finish, and last night I thought he might have been stealing them. Stealing the notebooks? Yes, so I told him to go. <laughs> was he stealing them? Yes, that's why I called the police. What was this man's name? Uh, Hal. Harold. Harold Dobbs. Uh, the police, well, they said that you were the only one here. He left before they got here. With the notebooks? No, Claire, don't be stupid. There are over a hundred notebooks. He, he was only stealing one, but he was stealing it so he could give it back to me. So I, I just let him go so we could go play with his band on the north side. His band? Yeah, he was late. He, he wanted me to come with him, but I was like, yeah, right. Is Harold Dobbs your boyfriend? No. Uh, are you sleeping with him? What? <sighs> no. He's a math geek. And he's in a band? A rock band? No, uh, a, a marching band. He plays trombone. Yes, a rock band. What's the name of his band? How should I know? Harold Dobbs didn't tell you the name of his rock band. No. I don't know. Look in the paper. They, they were playing last night. They do a song called Imaginary Number That Doesn't Exist. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm just trying to understand. Is Harold Dobbs... Stop saying Harold Dobbs. Is, is this person... Harold Dobbs exists. I'm sure he does. 
He's a mathematician at the University of Chicago called the fucking math department. I'm kind of sad. I'm just trying to understand. I mean, if, if you found some creepy grad student, you know, trying to get some of dad's papers, you call the police, I would understand. And if you were here partying, drinking with your boyfriend, I'd understand. The two, they, they just don't go together. Mm. Yep. You know, that's probably because you made the boyfriend story up. I was here alone. So Harold Dobbs wasn't here? No. He, yes. He was here, but, but we weren't partying. You weren't drinking with him? No. This was sitting right here. Were you drinking champagne with? With no one. Are you sure? Yes. The police said you were abusive. They were said that you were lucky that they didn't all you in. Those guys, they, they were assholes, Claire. They, they wouldn't go away. They wanted me to fill out a report. Were you abusive? You know, this one cop, he kept spitting on me when he talked. He was disgusting. Did you use the word dickhead? I don't remember. Did you tell one cop to go fuck the other cop's mother? No. That's what they said. Not with that phrasing. Did you strike one of them? They were trying to come in the house. Oh my God. I might have, you know, just pushed him a little. They said you were either drunk or disturbed. They wanted to come in here and search my house. You called them. Yes, but I, I didn't actually want them to come, but, but they did come, and then they started acting like they owned the place, pushing me around, calling me girly, smirking at me, laughing. They were assholes, okay? <laughs> These guys seem perfectly nice. They were off duty, and they took the trouble to come back here at the end of their shift to check up on you. They were very polite. Yeah, well, people are nicer to you. Can you, would you like to come to New York? Yes, I, I told you I'll come in January. You could come sooner. We'd love to have you. You, you could stay with us, it would be fun. I don't want to. Mitch is an excellent cook. It's like his hobby now, he's all these gadgets, <laughs> garlic press, olive oil sprayer. <laughs> I mean, every night there's something new. Delicious, wonderful meals. You know, the other day you made a vegetarian chili. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> Stay with us for, for a while. <laughs> We'd have so much fun. Thanks, I'm okay here. Chicago's dead. New York is so much more fun. You can't believe it. Yeah, um, the fun thing is really not where my focus is at the moment. I think New York would be a really, really fun and safe place for you to... I, I don't need a safe place, and I don't want to have any fun. I am perfectly fine here. Well, you look tired. I think you could use some downtime. Downtime? Oh, Katie, please. You have had a very hard time. I'm perfectly okay. Well, I think you look exhausted. Yeah, well, I was fine till you got here. Yes, but you probably- Catherine! Who's that? Hey, I- Harold Dobbs. I. <laughs> okay, look, <laughs> I, I, I really, don't need this, Claire, okay? You know, I, I'm fine, you know, I, I'm totally fine. And then you swoop in here with these questions and the, are you okay, and your soothing tone of voice and the, who are the poor policemen? You know, I, I think the police can handle themselves, okay? And, and the bagels and the bananas and the ho ho ba and come to New York and vegetarian chili. I mean, it just really pisses me off, so just save it, okay? <clears throat> um, I'm Claire, uh, Catherine's sister. <laughs> oh, hi, pal. Nice to meet you. I, uh, I hope it's not too early. You know, I, I was just gonna try and get some work done before I, uh, 
if, oh, he, like, yes yes <sighs> sure okay that's Harold Dobbs yes he's cute oh. He's a mathematician? I think you owe me an apology, Claire. We need to make some decisions. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't have tried to start first thing in the morning. I don't want an argument. Maybe Hal would like a bagel. <laughs> Scene three, night. Inside the house, a party is in progress. Loud music from a not very good, but enthusiastic band. Catherine is alone on the porch. Inside, the band finishes a number. I feel that for a funeral reception, this might have gotten a bit out of control. Oh, come on, it's great. Come on in. I'm okay. We're done playing, I promise. Oh, thanks. You want a beer? I'm okay. I brought you one. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many people are in there? Mm, exactly about 40. 40? Yeah, just the hardcore partiers. My sister's friends. No, mathematicians. <laughs> Your sister's friends left hours ago. I mean, the guys, the guys were really pleased to, to be asked to participate. I mean, they, they worship your dad. It's Claire's idea. It was good. The performance of Imaginary Number was sort of moving. A good funeral. No, I, I mean, I'm not good. Um, but I... No, yeah. Can you believe how many people came? I was surprised. I think you would have liked it. I I'm sorry, it it's not my place to all. No, you're right. Everything is better than I thought. You look great. Oh, uh, Claire gave it to me. I like it. Uh, it doesn't really fit, but... No, Catherine. It's good. Uh, when do you think they'll leave? Oh, I don't know. You know, mathematicians are insane. <laughs> I went to this conference in Toronto last fall. I'm young, right? I'm in shape. I thought, I could hang with the big boys. Wrong. <laughs> I mean, I've never been so exhausted in my life. 48 straight hours of partying, you know, drinking, drugs, papers, lectures. Drugs? Yeah, um, uh, amphetamines. I, mean, I don't, but some of the older guys are really hooked. Really? Yeah, they, 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 they think that they need it. Why? They think math's a young man's game. Speed keeps them racing, makes them feel sharp. You know, that, that, that's the fear, that, that your creativity peaks uh, around 23 and then it's all pfft, downhill from there. <laughs> Once you hit 50, I mean, you might as well just teach high school. <laughs> so my father thought. I don't know. Some people stay prolific. Not many. No, you're right. Really, I mean, original work, it's all young guys. Young guys. Uh, young people. But it is men, mostly. No, there are some women. Who? There, there, there's a woman at Stanford. I uh, can't remember her name. Sophie Germain. Yeah? You know, I've, I've probably seen her at, at a meeting. I just, I never met her. She was born in Paris in 1776. I had definitely never met her. She was trapped in her house. The French Revolution was going on. 
terror. She had to stay inside for safety and she passed the time reading in her father's study, the Greeks. Later, she tried to get a real education, but the schools didn't allow women. So she wrote letters. She wrote to Gauss and she used man's name, Antoine Auguste LeBlanc. She sent him some proofs involving a certain kind of prime number, important work. And he was delighted to correspond with such a brilliant young man. <laughs> Dad gave me a book about her. I'm stupid. <laughs> Sophie Germain, of course. You know her? Germain Primes. Right. They're famous. You know, you double them and add one, you, you get another prime, you know, like two. You know, two is prime, doubled plus one is five, also prime. Right. Or 92,305 times two to the 16,998th power plus one. Right. That's the biggest one. The biggest one known. Did he ever find out who she was? Gauss? Yeah. Later, a mutual friend told him the brilliant young man was a woman. And he wrote to her, a taste for the mysteries of numbers is excessively rare. But when a person of the sex, which according to our customs and prejudices, must encounter infinitely more difficulties than men to familiarize herself with these thorny researches, succeeds nevertheless penetrating the most obscure parts of them, then without a doubt, she must have the noblest courage, quite extraordinary talents and superior genius. I memorized it. Hal stares at her. He suddenly kisses her, then stops, embarrassed, he moves away. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about yesterday. I wasn't helpful about the work you're doing. Take as long as you need upstairs. You were fine. I was pushy. I was awful. <laughs> no, my, my timing was terrible. Anyway, you're probably right. What? About it being junk. I read through a lot of the stuff today, you know, just skimming. Except for the book I stole. Oh, Dad, I, I, I'm really sorry about that. No, 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 you were right, you were right. I should have called the police. It was my fault. No. The, the, the point is, that book, I'm starting to think it's the only lucid one, really. And there's no math in it. I mean, I'll keep reading it, but if I don't find anything in a couple of days. Back to the drums. Yeah. And your own research. Such as it is. What's wrong with it? It's not exactly setting the world on fire. Come on. It sucks, basically. Harold. And my papers get turned down, and, and for the right reasons. You know, my, my stuff is... Trivial. The big ideas aren't there. It's not about big ideas. It's work. You've got to chip away at a problem. That's not what your dad did. I think it was. In a way, he, he'd attack a question from the side, from some weird angle, sneak up on it, grind away at it. He was slogging. He, he was just so much faster than anyone else that from the outside it looked magical. I don't know. I'm just guessing. No, plus, the work was beautiful. I mean, you, you could read it for pleasure. It's it streamlined, no wasted movements, like a 95 mile an hour fastball, just elegant. Yeah. And, and that, that's what you can never duplicate. At least, you know, at least I can't. Okay, you know, at a certain point, at a certain point, you realize it's not going to happen. You readjust your expectations. I enjoy teaching. Can I come up with something? 
28, remember? <laughs> On the downhill slope. <laughs> Have you tried speed? I've heard it helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how? Yeah. What do you do for sex? What? At your conferences. Uh, I, 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 um, Isn't that why people hold conferences? Travel, room service, tax deductible sex, and big hotel beds? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so what do you do all you guys? Um, well, well, we're, we're scientists. So? So there's a lot of experimentation. <laughs> I see. Catherine goes to him. She kisses him. A longer kiss. Huh. That was nice. Really? Yes. Again? Yeah. I always liked you. You did? Even before I knew you, I... I, I catch glimpses of you whenever you visited your, your father's office. You know, I wanted to talk to you, but I thought, no, you do not flirt with your doctoral advisor's daughter. Especially when your advisor is crazy. Especially then. <laughs> you came here once, four years ago. Do you remember? Sure. I remember you too. I, I, I can't believe that you remember. I, I, I was dropping off a draft of my thesis for your dad. <laughs> Jesus, I was so nervous. You look nervous. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. I remember you. I thought you seemed not boring. The next morning, Catherine, alone on the porch in a robe. Hal enters, half-dressed. He walks up behind her quietly. How, uh, how long have you been up? Uh, a while. Uh, did, did I oversleep? Uh, no. Is your sister up? Uh, no. She's flying home in a couple hours, I should probably wake her. She had not let her sleep, you know. She, she was doing some pretty serious drinking with, with a theoretical physicist. <laughs> I'll make her some coffee when she gets up. Sunday mornings, I, uh, I usually go out, get breakfast, the paper. Okay. Do you want to come? Uh, uh, no, I, I ought to stick around until Claire leaves. All right. Do you mind if I stay? Uh, no. No, you can, uh, you can work if you want. Okay. Okay. Should I? If you want to. <laughs> uh, do you, do you want me to go, or? Do you want to go? Well, I, I want to stay here with, with you. Oh. I, I want to spend the day with you, if possible. I'd like to spend as much time with you as I can. Huh? And unless, of course, I'm coming on way too strong right now and scaring you, in which case I'll begin backpedaling immediately because... <laughs> How, uh, how embarrassing is it if I say that last night was wonderful? It's only embarrassing if I don't agree. Uh, uh. <laughs> don't be embarrassed.
here. Well, well, what is this? It's a key. Try it. Uh, where? Bottom drawer of the desk in my dad's office. Well, what's 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 in there? There's only one way to find out, Professor. Please don't yell. Please. Ugh. You all right? Oh no! Those fucking physicists. What happened? Well, thanks for leaving me alone with them. Where were your friends? My stupid friends left. Jesus, it was only eleven o'clock. They ought to get home and pay their babysitters. Okay, bread or something. Jesus. I'm left alone with these lunatics. Why did you drink so much? Oh, because I thought I could keep up with them. I thought they'd stop. They didn't. Have some more tequila. Do you want some coffee? Oh, God, no, in a minute. Oh, that band? Yeah. They were terrible. You were okay. They had fun, I think. Yeah, yeah. As long as everyone had fun. Your dress turned out all right. I love it. You too? Yeah, yeah, it's so fun. Surprised you even wore it. Love it, Claire. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> You're in a good mood. Should I not be? Are you kidding? No, no, I, I'm thrilled. <sighs> it's just, I, I'm leaving in a few hours. I know. House is a wreck. Don't clean it yourself. I'll hire someone to come in. Thanks. Do you, you want your coffee? No, no, thanks. It's really a trouble. I can just. No. Katie, hold on a sec. Uh, I just. <clears throat> well, I'm leaving soon. And... You said, I, I, I know. Uh, I, I'd like you to come to New York. <laughs> yes, January. No, I mean, I. I'd like you to, to move to New York. Move? When you think about it, I mean, for me. Well, you could stay with me and Mitch at first. You know, there's plenty of room. And then you could get your own place. I've already scouted a few apartments for you. Really, really cute places. What would I do in New York? What are you doing here? I live here. You could do whatever you want. You, you could work. You could go to school. Uh, I, I don't know, Claire. It's pretty major. I realize that. Look, I, I know you mean well. I, I'm just not sure where I want to do. And, and I, I need to be honest. You were right yesterday. I do feel a little confused. And I'm, and I'm tired. It's been a pretty weird couple of years. I think I'd like to take some time and, and, and figure things out. You could do that in New York. And I could do it here. But it would be much easier for me to get you set up in an apartment in New York. And I, 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 I don't need an apartment. I'll stay in the house. We're, we're selling the house. What? We... I'm, 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 I'm selling it. When? 
Uh, well, I, I'm hoping to do the, the paperwork this week. Look, I know, I know, it seems sudden. No one was here looking at the place. Who, who are you selling it to? The university. But they've wanted this block for years. I, I live here. Honey. I know, Dad, how the dad has gone, it just doesn't make sense. It's in bad shape. It costs a fortune to heat. It's time to let it go. Mitch agrees. It, it's a very smart move. I mean, we were lucky that we had such a great offer. Okay, well, where am I supposed to live? Come to New York. I can't believe this. Oh, look, it'll be so good. You deserve a change. It, this would be a, a whole new adventure for you. Why are you doing this? Because I want to help. By kicking me out of my house? Jeez, it was my house, too. Please, you haven't lived here for years. I know that. I, I know you're on your own, and I, I really regret that, Katie. Don't. I know I let you down, and I feel terrible about it, but, but I'm trying to help now. You want to help now? Yes. Dad is dead, Claire. I know. He's dead. Now that he's dead, you, you fly in for the weekend and decide you want to help? You're late. Where have you been? I was trying to- Where were you five years ago? You weren't helping then. I was working. Yeah, and I was here. I lived with him alone. I was working 14 hour days. I paid every bill. I, Jesus, I, I paid off the mortgage on this three bedroom house while, while I lived in a studio in Brooklyn. You had your life. Claire, you, you got to finish school. You could have stayed in school. How? I would have done anything. I told you that. I, I, I told you a million times to do whatever you wanted. What about dad? Someone had to take care of him. He was ill. He should have been in a, in a full-time professional care situation. He didn't belong in a nut house. He might have been better off. How can you say that? <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to feel guilty, right? Sure, go for it. Yeah, I'm heartless. My own father. He needed to be here. In his, in his own house, near the university, near his students, near everything that made him happy. Maybe. Or maybe some, some real professional care would have done him more than, than rattling around in a, a filthy house with you looking after him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's not your fault. It, it, it's my fault for letting you do it. I was right to keep him here. No. W what about his remission? Four years ago, he, he was healthy for almost a year. <laughs> and then he went right downhill again. He might have been worse in a hospital. And he might have been better. I mean, <laughs> did he ever do any work again? No. No. And you might have been better. Better than what? Living here, it didn't do you any good. You said that yourself. You had so much talent. I think I'm like Dad. I think you have some of his talent and some of his tendency toward Instability. Claire. In addition to the cute apartments that you've scouted for me in New York, would you by any chance also have devoted some of your considerable energies toward scouting out another type of living no, facility no. for your bug house little sister? Absolutely not. No, this is not what this is about. Don't lie to me, Claire. I am smarter than you. The resources I've investigated and- Oh my God. If you wanted to, that is all I'm saying. The doctors in New York, well, they're the best and, and, and they would help you. Fuck and they, you. They would, it would be entirely up to you. I mean, you, you wouldn't live anywhere. I mean, you, you could- I hate you. 
please, Catherine, please don't don't get angry. I don't hate you. And I... <clears throat> what are you doing here? How long have you uh, have you known about this? A while. Why, why, why didn't you tell me about it? I, I wasn't sure I wanted to. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going on? God, Catherine, thank you. I thought you might like to see it. What is it? It's, it's incredible. What is it? Um, well, okay, it's a, a result, um, a, a proof. I, I mean, no, but, well, I mean, it, it, it looks like, like a proof. I, I mean, no, well, it, it is a proof. It's a, a very long proof. I, just, I, have, I haven't read it all, of, of course, or, or checked it. I, I don't even know if I could check it, you know, but if, if it is a proof of what I think it's a proof of, it's a very important proof. What does it prove? Uh, well, it, it, it Looks like it, it proves a theorem, uh, um, a mathematical theorem that, that about prime numbers, something mathematicians have been trying to prove since there were mathematicians, basically. But 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 if, if most people thought it, it, it couldn't be done, where did you find it? In your father's desk. Uh, Kathy told me about it. You know what this is. Sure. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's historic if it checks out. <laughs> what does it say? I, I, I don't know yet. I, have, I haven't read the, I just read like the first few pages. I haven't read it. Oh. Well, what does it mean? It means that during a time when, when everyone thought that your dad was crazy, or barely function. He, he, he was doing some of the most important mathematics in the world. If it checks out, it, it means you publish instantly. I mean, it means newspapers all over the world are gonna wanna talk to the person who found this notebook. <sighs> Kathy? Kathy. I didn't find it. Yes, you did. No. Well, did you find it or did Hal find it? No, I didn't find it. I didn't find it. I wrote it. Act two, scene one. Robert is alone on the porch. He sits quietly enjoying a drink. The quiet, the September afternoon, a notebook nearby unopened. He closes his eyes, apparently dozing. It is four years earlier than the events in Act One. Catherine enters quietly. She stands behind her father for a moment. Hello. How did you know I was here? I heard you. Thought you were asleep. On an afternoon like this? Nope. Do you need anything? Nope. I'm, I'm gonna go to the store. What's for dinner? What do you want? Not spaghetti. All right. Disgusting stuff. That's what I was going to make. Yeah, I had a feeling. Good thing I spoke up. You make it so much. What do you want? What do you have a taste for? Nothing. Nothing at all? I don't care. I, I thought pasta would be easy. Oh, pasta. Oh, God. Don't even say the word pasta. It sounds so hopeless. Like surrender. Eh, pasta would be easy. Yes, yes, it would. Pasta. Doesn't even mean anything. It's just a euphemism people invented when they get sick of eating spaghetti. Dad, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what to get. I'll shop. No. No, I'll do it. No, Dad, rest. I wanted to take a walk anyway. Are you sure? Yes. What about a walk to the lake? 
You and me. All right. Yeah, I would love to go to the lake. Then on the way home, we'll stop at the store, see what jumps out at us. It's warm. It would be nice if you're up for it. You're damn right I'm up for it. We'll work up an appetite. Give me ten seconds, let me put this stuff away, and we're out the door. I'm, I'm going to school. When? I'm going to start at Northwestern at the end of the month. Northwestern? Yeah, uh, they were great about my credits, and they're taking me in as a sophomore. I wasn't sure when to talk to you about it. Northwestern? Yes. What's wrong with Chicago? Uh, you, you still teach there. I I'm sorry, it's too weird taking classes in your department. It's a long drive. It's not that long. It's half an hour. Yeah, still, twice a day. Dad, I'd live there. You'd, you'd actually want to live in Evanston? Yes. I'll, I'll still be close. I, I can come home whenever you want. You, you've been well, really well, for almost seven months. I don't think you need me here every minute of the day. So this is all a done deal? You're in? Yes. You sure? Yes. Well, who pays for it? They're giving me a free ride, Dad. They've been great. Well, uh, uh, on tuition, sure. But w w what about food? Books, clothes, gas, meals out. I mean, do, you, do you plan to have a social life? I don't know. But you got to pay your own way on dates. At least the early dates, say, the first three. Otherwise, they expect something. The money will be fine. Dad, Claire's going to help out. <laughs> when did you talk to Claire? I don't know. A couple weeks ago. You, you talked to Claire before you talked to me? There were a lot of details to work out, and she was great. She, she offered to take care of all of the expenses. <laughs> this, this is a big step. A different city. Not even a long-distance phone call. It, it, it's a huge place. You know, they're serious up there. I mean, I mean serious. I mean, yeah, the football's a disaster, but the math guys, they do not get around. You haven't been in school. You're, you're sure you're ready? You know, you could get buried up there. I'll be all right. You're way behind. I know. A, a year at least. Thank you. I know. Look, I don't know if this is a good idea. I, I don't know if I can handle the work. I don't know if I can handle any of it. For, for Christ's sake, Catherine, you, you should have talked to me. Dad, listen. If you ever, if for any reason it ever turned out that you needed me here full I time, won't. It, I won't. That's not I what this is about. take a semester off. No, no, no. We're stop it. Stop it. I just... The end of the month? Why didn't she say something before? Dad, come on. It, it took a while to set this up. And it, until recently, until very recently... You were not. You just said no. yourself that I've been fine. Yes. But I didn't know. I hoped, but I didn't know. No one knew if this would last. I told myself to wait until I was sure about you, that you were feeling okay again, consistently okay. <laughs> so I, I'm to take this conversation as a vote of confidence? I'm honored. Take it however you want. I believed that you would get better. Well, thank you very much. Don't thank me. I had to. I was living with you. All right, all right. That's enough, Catherine. Let's stay on the subject, okay? This is the subject. There were library books upstairs stacked up to the ceiling. Do you remember that? You, you were trying to be coding messages. The fucking books are gone, all right? I took them back to myself. Why do you bring that garbage up? Mr. Dobbs. I, I, I hope this, um, I hope it's not a bad time. Yes, it is, actually. You couldn't have picked worse. Oh, I, uh... Um, you interrupted an argument. Oh, well, I, uh... I, I'm sorry, I, I, I can come back. It's all right, it's all right. We needed a break. Are you, are you sure? Yes, yes, the... 
the argument was about dinner. We don't know what to eat. What's your suggestion? Uh, well, you know, there, there's this really good pasta place. Um, no! Yeah. Okay. That is a oh, brilliant dear idea. Jesus God, no. What is it called? Can you No, 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 it? no, sorry. Wrong answer, but thank you for trying. I can come back. I'm no, 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 stay. Where are you going? Inside. What about dinner? What about him? What are you doing here, Mr. Dobbs? Uh, well, I, um... Sorry, I, 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 uh... It's... My timing really sucks. I'm really sorry. I... Don't be silly. I'll just, I'll just come to your office. Stop. Sit down. Glad you're here. Don't let the dinner thing throw you. You'll bounce back. This should be easier. Let's, let's back off the problem. Let it breathe. Come out it again when it's not looking. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm rude. Hal, this is my daughter, Catherine. Don't go. Have a drink with us. Catherine, Harold Dobbs. Hi. Hi. Hal is a grad student. He's doing his PhD. Very promising stuff. Unfortunately for him, his work coincided with my return to the department, and he got stuck <laughs> with me. No, 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 no. It's been... I've been very lucky. How long have you been at UFC? Uh, well, you know, I've been working on my thesis. How's it in our infinite program? As he approaches completion of his dissertation, time approaches infinity. <laughs> would you like a drink, Hal? Uh, yes. Yes, I would. And, and uh, with all due respect, Really? Yeah, yeah. Must have had an interesting few months. Worst summer of my life. I... Well, congratulations. It's, it's it's just a draft. B based on um, you know, everything that we talked about last spring. I wasn't sure if if I should wait, you know, till the quarter started, or or if I should get it, give it to you now, you know. So I was like, hold off, or do another draft. But I figured, fuck it. I, I, well, I mean, um, I, let's just get it over with. So I, I thought I'd, I'd just come over and see if you were home and... Here, drink this. I decided I don't, I don't know if it feels done. I, I maybe it is. Wrong. If it feels done, there are major errors. Uh, well, That's I, okay. Uh... That's okay. That's good. We'll find them and fix them. Don't worry, you're on your way to a solid career. You'll be teaching younger, more irritating versions of yourself in no time. Thank you. Catherine's in the math department at Northwestern, Hal. Oh, well, who, who are you working with? <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm just starting this fall, undergrad. She's starting in uh, three weeks? A little more. You know, they have some good people at Northwestern. O'Donohue, Kaminsky. Yes. They will work your ass off. I know. Lev, you're going to have to run pretty hard to catch up. I think I can do it. Of course you can. You must be excited. I am. First year of school, you know, can, can be great. Yeah. Sure. I mean, all new people, new places, getting out of the house. <laughs> Yeah. Or no. Nope. I Absolutely. Getting the hell out of here. Thank God. It's about time. I'll be glad to see the back of her. You will? Of course. Maybe I want to have the place to myself for a while. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> so it's awful the way children sentimentalize their parents. We could use some quiet around here. Oh, don't worry. I'll come back. I'll be here every Sunday cooking you big vats of pasta to last you through the week. And I'll drive up and strut around Evanstown and embarrass you in front of your classmates. Good, so we'll be in touch. Sure. And if you get stuck with a problem, give me a call. All right. Same to you. Fine. Oh, make sure to give me your number. I'm actually looking forward to getting some work done. Oh, what, what are you working on? Nothing. Uh, nothing at the moment. Which I'm glad of, really. 
you know, this, this is the time of year. You don't want to be tied down to anything. You want to be outside. I love Chicago in September. Perfect skies. Sailboats on the water. Cubs losing. <laughs> Warm. Sun's still hot with the occasional blast of Arctic wind to keep you on your toes. Remind you of winter. Students coming back. Bookstores full. Everybody busy. You know, <laughs> I was in a bookstore yesterday, completely full. Students buying books, browsing. Students do a hell of a lot of browsing, don't they? Just browsing. You see them shuffling around with their backpacks, goofing off, taking up space. You'd call it loitering, except every once in a while, they pick up a book and flip the pages. Browsing. I admire it. I do. It, it, it's an honest way to kill an afternoon in the back of a used bookstore or going through a crate of somebody's old record albums, not looking for anything, just, you know, looking, what the hell, touch the old book jackets, seeing what somebody threw out, seeing what they underlined. Maybe you find something great, like an old thriller with a painted cover from the 40s, or a textbook one of your professors used when he was a student, his name written in it very carefully. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like watching the students, wondering what they're going to buy, what they're going to read, what kind of ideas they'll come up with when they settle down and get to work. I'm not doing much right now. It, uh, it does get harder. It's a stereotype that happens to be true, unfortunately for me. Unfortunately for you, unfortunately for all of us. Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe I will. Maybe you'll pick up where I left off. You're still going to breath. Ah, don't underestimate yourself. <clears throat> anyway. Another drink? Kathy? Al? No, oh, thanks. Ah, uh, thanks. I, I really should get going. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll call you when I've looked at this. Don't think about it till then. Enjoy yourself. See some movies. Okay. You can come by my office in a week. Call it... Uh... Uh, the 11th? Yes. We'll... I'm sorry. I used to have a pretty good memory for numbers. Happy birthday. Thank you. I am so sorry. I'm embarrassed. Dad, don't be stupid. I, I didn't get you anything. Don't worry about it. I'm taking you out. You really don't have to. No, no, no. We are going out. You know, I, I didn't want to shop and cook. Let's, let, let's go to dinner. Let's get the hell out of this neighborhood. What do you want to eat? Let's go to the, let's go to the north side or, or, or Chinatown or, or Greek town. You, I don't even know what's good anymore. Whatever you want. No, no. Whatever you want. God damn it, Catherine. It's your birthday. Steak. Steak. Yes. Uh, no, first beer. Really cold beer, really, really cheap beer. Done. <laughs> that Chicago beer that's watery with no flavor. You <laughs> they just pump the water out of Lake Michigan and bottle it. So awful. Yeah, I, I have a taste for it myself. <laughs> and then steak, grilled really black, and potatoes and cream spinach. I remember a place. If it's still there, I think it'll do the trick. And dessert. Well, uh, that goes without saying. It's your birthday. Hooray! And there's the solution to our dinner problem. Thank you for reminding me, Harold Dobbs. I, we're being rude. Do you want to come? Oh. No. I, uh, shouldn't. Why not? Please, come. Uh, come on. No, I can't. I, I have plans. 
you though. Happy birthday. Thanks. Well, I'll, I'll let you out. I'll see you on the 11th, Hal. Great. So I'm gonna change my clothes and I'll be ready in a second. <sighs> September fourth, a good day. Scene two, morning, an instant after the end of act one. You, you wrote this? <sighs> yes. You mean dad dictated it to you? No, it, it's my it's mine, I wrote it. When? <laughs> but I started after I quit school and I finished a few months before dad. Did he see it? No. He didn't know I was working on it. Wouldn't have mattered to him anyway. He was too sick. I, I, I don't understand. You did this by yourself. Yes. It's in Dad's notebook. I, I used one of his blank books. There were a bunch of them upstairs. <clears throat> Tell me exactly where you found this. In his study. In his desk. I gave him the key. Oh, hold on. Where did you find it? Um, well, well I, I found it in your, in your father's locked drawer. C Catherine gave me the key. Why was the drawer locked? It's mine. It's where I keep my private things and I've, I've used it for years. Was there anything else in the drawer? No. No, I, that's the only thing that was... Can I see it? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just, the book was in, you told him where to find it. I mean, you gave him the key. You wrote this incredible thing and you didn't tell anyone. I, I, I'm telling you both now. Look, after I dropped out of school, I, I had nothing to do. I was depressed, really depressed. But at a certain point I, I decided, fuck it. I don't need them. It's just math. I, I can do it on my own. So I kept working here. I worked at night after dad had gone to sleep. It was hard, but I did it. Catherine, I'm sorry. I, I just find this very hard to believe. Claire, I wrote the proof. I'm sorry. Claire. This. This is Dad's handwriting. It's not. <laughs> it looks exactly like it. It's my writing. Sorry. Ask how. He's been looking at Dad's writing for weeks. I don't know. How? C come on. <laughs> what does it look like? It, it, it looks... I, I don't know Captain's handwriting. It, I, I don't it, know what it looks like. It looks like that. Okay. Okay. It... Okay. Oh, okay. I think you know what. I think it's early, and, and people are tired and not in the, the best state to make decisions about emotional things. So, so maybe we should all just take a deep breath. You don't believe me? I don't know. I I, re I don't know anything about this. You know. Never mind. I, I don't know why I expected you to believe me about anything. All right. It, it, could you could you tell us uh, about the proof? I mean, it, it, that would show it was yours. You wouldn't understand it. All right, it, tell it to Hal. We could talk through it together. It might take a while. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you can't you can't use the book. For for God's sakes, it's it's forty pages long. I, I didn't memorize. It's not. A, fucking muffin recipe. You, this is stupid, okay? It, it's my book. 
my writing, my key, my drawer, my proof. How? Tell her. Uh, tell her what? Whose book is that? I don't know. What, what is the matter with you? you? You've been looking at his other stuff. You know there is nothing even remotely like this. Look, Catherine. We'll go through the proof together, okay? We'll, we'll sit down. If Claire will please give me my book back. Oh. All right. All right, talking through it. That might take days. And still, it wouldn't show that she wrote it. Why not? Your dad might have written it and, and explained it to you later. I, I'm not saying he did. I, I just, I'm just saying that there's, there's, there's no proof that you wrote this. Of course there isn't, but, but come on. He, he didn't do this. He couldn't have. He didn't do any mathematics at all for years. Even in the good year, he couldn't work. You know that. You're supposed to be a scientist. You're right. Okay, he, here's my suggestion. I know three or four guys at the math department, very, very sharp, disinterested people who, who knew your father. Okay, who knew his work. Let, let me just, let me take this to them. What? I'll, I'll tell them. I'll, I'll tell them what we, what we found. Something, something potentially major. You know, we're, we're not sure about the authorship. I'll sit them down. You know, we'll go through the thing carefully and, Good. You know, and and figure out exactly what we've got you know it, it would only take a couple of days probably and then we'd have a lot more information yeah i, I you know i think that's an excellent suggestion you can't Catherine. no you can't take it I'm, I'm not taking it god this is what you wanted oh come on jesus you don't waste any time do you no hesitation you can't wait to show them your brilliant discovery I'm trying to determine what this is. I'm telling you what it is. You don't know. I wrote it. It's your father's handwriting. I, I don't, at least it, it looks an awful lot like, like your father's handwriting. Maybe you, maybe your writing looks exactly like his. I, I don't know. It does look like his. I didn't show this to anyone else. I could have. I wanted you to be the first to see it. I didn't know that I wanted that until last night, but it's me. What's it do? I know, I know. I... Was I wrong? No, no, I just... I should have known that she wouldn't believe me, but why don't you? One of his notebooks. I mean, they're the same exact kind he used. I, I told you, I just used one of his blank books. There were extras. There, there aren't any extra books in the study. There, there were when I started writing the proof. I bought them for him. He, he must have used the rest up later. And the writing? You want to test the handwriting? No, it, it doesn't matter. He could have dictated it for, to you for Christ's sake. I mean, it still doesn't make sense. Why not? I'm a mathematician. I know how hard it would be to come up with something like this. I mean, it's impossible. You, you have to, you'd have to be your dad, at, basically your dad at the peak of his powers. I'm a mathematician too. I like your dad. Oh, he's the only one who could have done this? Well, the only one I know. Are you sure? Her father was the most You know, talented. just because you and the rest of the geeks worshipped him doesn't mean he wrote this proof, Hal. He was the best. My generation hasn't produced anything like him. He revolutionized the field twice before he was 22. I'm sorry, Catherine, but you took some classes at Northwestern for a few months. My education wasn't at Northwestern. It was living in this house for 25 years. Even so, it doesn't matter. This is too advanced. It, I don't even understand most of it. You think it's too advanced? Yes. It's too advanced for you. You could not have done this work. Yeah, well, what if I did? Well, what if? Well, it would be a real disaster for you, wouldn't it? And for the other geeks who barely finished their PhDs, who are marking time, doing lame research, bragging about the conferences they go to, oh, wow, playing in an awful band and whining that they're intellectually past it at 28 because they are?
see. Okay. Let's go inside. Catherine opens the book, tries to rip out the pages and destroy it. Claire goes to take it away from her. They struggle. Catherine gets the book away. They stand apart, breathing hard. After a moment, Catherine throws the book to the floor. She exits. <sighs> Scene three, the next day. The porch is empty, knocking on No one appears. After a moment, Hal comes around the side of the porch and knocks on the back door. Catherine? <sighs> oh, I, I, I thought you were leaving. Oh, I, I had to delay my flight. Is, is Catherine in here? Um, I, I, I don't think it's a good time, Hal. Could, could I see her? Not now. What's the matter? She's sleeping. Can, can I wait here until she gets up? She's been sleeping since yesterday. She won't get up. She won't eat. She won't talk to me. I couldn't go home. I'm... A, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to wait until uh, she seems okay to travel. Jesus, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'd like to talk to her. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Has she said anything? About you? No. Yesterday, I, I know I didn't do what she wanted. Neither of us did. I didn't know what to say. I, I, I feel awful. Why did you sleep with her? Sorry, that, that's none of your business. <laughs> Bullshit. I have to take care of her. It's a little bit harder with you jerking her around. I wasn't jerking her around. It just, it just happened. Well, your timing wasn't great. It wasn't my timing. It, it was both of our, of our... Why? Why did you do it? I mean, you know what she's like. She's fragile and you took advantage of her. No, it, it was what we both wanted. I, I didn't mean to hurt her. Well, you did. I'd like to talk to Catherine, please. You can't. Are you taking her away? Yes. To New York? Yeah. Just going to drag her to New York? If I have to. Don't you think she would... Don't you think maybe she should have some say in whether or not she goes? If she's not going to speak, what else can I do? Let me try. Let me talk to her. Hell, you just give up. I mean, did this... It really has nothing to do with you. I know her. She's tougher than you think, Claire. <sighs> what? She can handle herself. She can handle talking to me. Maybe it would help. Maybe she'd like it. Maybe she'd like it? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? You're the reason that, that she's up there. <laughs> you know, you have no idea what she needs. You don't even know her. She's my sister. Jesus, you fucking mathematicians. You know, you, you don't think, you, you don't think, you, 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 you go around creating all these catastrophes and, and it's people like me who have to clean them up. She needs to get out of Chicago, out of this house. Look up. I'll give you my number. And, you know, you can call her once she's settled in New York. That's it. That's the deal. Okay. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got a lot to do. There's one more thing and you're not going to like it. Sure. Take the notebook. I... 
Oh, hold on a sec. I'll get it for you. I, I thought that this would be harder. Don't worry, I understand. I mean, it's very sweet that you want to see, Catherine. But of course you'd like to see the notebook too. <laughs> it's, no, 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 no. It, it, it's my responsibility as a professional. I, I can't turn my back on the necessity of-, of Relax, of I don't care. I mean, what would I do with it? You sure? Yeah, of course. You, you trust me with it? Yes. You just said that I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I think you're a little bit of an idiot, but you're not dishonest. You know, someone needs to figure out what's in there, and I can't do it. It should be done here in Chicago. My father would like that. When you decide what we've got, let me know and what the family should do. Thanks. Don't thank me. It's by far the most convenient option available. I put my card in there. Call me whenever you want. Okay. Hal. Yeah. Can you tell me about it? The proof. I'm just curious. I mean, it would, it would take some, some time. How, how much math have you got? Currency analyst. <laughs> I mean, it helps to be very quick with numbers, so I am. I probably inherited one one thousandth of my father's ability, but that's enough. <laughs> Catherine got more. I'm not sure how much. Scene four, winter, about three, three and a half years earlier. Robert is on the porch. He wears a t-shirt. He writes in a notebook. After a moment, we hear Catherine's voice. Dad? What are you doing out here? Working. It's December, it's, it's 30 degrees. I know. Don't you need a coat? Don't you think I can make that assessment myself? Aren't you cold? Of course. Freezing my ass off. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing out here? Thinking. Writing. You're gonna freeze. It's too hot in the house. The radiators dry out the air. Also the clanking. I can't concentrate. If the house weren't so cold, we'd have central air heating, but we don't. So I have to come out here to get any work done. Okay, I will turn off the radiators. They won't make any noise. Just, just come inside. It isn't safe. I'm okay. I've been calling. Didn't you hear the phone? Yeah, it's been a distraction. I didn't know what was going on. I had to drive all the way up down here. I can see that. I had to skip class. Why don't you answer the phone? Well, I'm sorry, Catherine, but it's a question of priorities and work takes priority. You know that. You're working? God damn it, I am working. I say I, the machinery, the machinery is working. Catherine, it's on full blast. All the cylinders are firing. I'm on fire. That's why I came out here to cool off. I haven't felt like this for years. You're kidding. Nope. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either, but it's true. It started about a week ago. I woke up, I came downstairs, made a cup of coffee, and before I could pour in the milk, it, it was like someone turned the light on in my head. Really? Not, not the light, not the light. The whole power grid. I lit up and it's like no time has passed since I was 21. You're kidding. I am back. I'm back in touch with the source, the, 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 the font, the, 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 Whatever the source of my creativity was all those years ago. I'm in contact with it again. I'm sitting on it. it, it it's a geyser, and I'm shooting right up into the air on top of it. Oh my God. I'm not talking about divine inspiration. It, it's not funneling down into my head and then onto the page. It's going to take work to shape these things. I'm not saying it won't be a tremendous amount of work. It will be a tremendous amount of work. 
It's not going to be easy, but the raw material is there. It's, it's, like, it's like I've been driving in traffic, and, and now the lanes are opening up before me, and, and I can accelerate. I, 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 see, I see whole landscapes, places for the work to go, new techniques, revolutionary possibilities. I'm going to get whole branches of the profession talking to each other. I'm sorry. I'm being rude. How's school? Uh, fine. You, you, you're working hard? Uh, sure. Faculty treating you all right? Yes. Uh, Dad. Need any friends? Of course. Dating? Um, Dad, just. No, 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 no. No, no details necessary if you don't want to provide them. I, I'm, I'm just interested. School is great. I, I, I want to talk about how you're doing. Great. Let's talk. This work. Yeah. Is it here? Well, part of it, yeah. Can I see it? It's all at a very early stage. I don't mind. And nothing, nothing's actually complete, to be honest. It's, it's all in progress. I, 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 I think we're talking years. That, that's okay. I, I don't care. Just, just let me see anything. You really want to? Yes. You, you're genuinely interested? Dad, of course. Of course, of course! It's your field! You know how happy that makes me. I think there's enough here to keep me working the rest of my life. Not just me. I was starting to imagine that I was finished. Catherine, really, really finished. Don't get me wrong. I, I was grateful that I, I could go to my office and have a life, but secretly, I was terrified I'd never work again. Did you know that? I wondered. I, I was absolutely fucking terrified. Then I remembered something. I remembered something, and part of the terror just went away. I remembered you. Your creative years were just beginning. You'd, you'd get your degree, do your own work. You were just getting started. If you hadn't, if you hadn't gone into math, that would have been all right. Claire's done well for herself. I'm satisfied with her. I am proud of you. I don't mean to embarrass you. It's part of the whole reason we have children. We hope they'll survive us. Accomplish what, what we couldn't. Now that I'm back in the game, I admit, I got another idea, a better one. What? Now, I know, I know you've got your own work. I, I, I don't want you to neglect that. You, you can't neglect it, but I could probably use some help. Work with me, if you want to. If, if you can work it out with your class schedule and, and everything else, yeah, I, I, could, I could help you with that. I, 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 I could make some calls, uh, talk to your teachers. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I, Jesus, I mean, look, 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 enough bullshit, okay? You asked to see something. Let's start with this. I've roughed something out. General outline for a proof. Major result, important. It's not finished, but you can see where it's going. Uh, ooh, let's see. Uh, here, here. <laughs> it's very rough. Go inside. I can't might make it hard to follow. We we can talk it through. You're cold. Well, let's go in. Maybe maybe we could work on this together. You know, this this might be a great place to start. What about it? What do you think? Let, let let's talk it through. 
not now. I'm cold too. It's, it's really freezing out here. Let's let's just go inside. No, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it, 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 it's stifling in there. God damn it, the radiators. Look, look, read out, read out the first couple of lines. That's how we start. You read, and we go line by line, out loud, through the arguments, see if there's a better way, a shorter way. Let, let's collaborate. No, come on. I, I, look, I've been waiting years. I've been waiting years for this. This is, this is something I want to do. Come on, come on, let's do some work together. We can't do it out here. It's freezing cold. I'm taking you in. Not until we talk about the proof. No. God damn it, Catherine! Open the goddamn book and read me the lines. Let x equal the quantity of all quantities of x. Let x equal the cold. It is cold in December. The months of cold equal November through February. There are four months of cold and four of heat, leaving four months of indeterminate temperature. In February, it snows. In March, the lake is a lake of ice. In September, the students come back and the bookstores are full. Let X equal the month of full bookstores. The number of books approaches infinity as the number of months of cold approaches four. I will never be as cold now as I will in the future. The future of cold is infinite. The future of heat is the future of cold. The bookstores are infinite. And so are never full except in September. It's all right. We'll go inside. I'm cold. Warm me up. Don't leave. Please. I won't. I won't let that go inside. Scene five, the present. A week after the events in scene three, Claire on the porch, coffee and takeout cups. Claire takes a plane ticket out of her purse, checks the itinerary. Catherine enters with bags for travel. Claire gives her a cup of coffee. Catherine drinks in silence. Good coffee. Mm. It's all right, isn't it? The place where we buy all our coffees. They roast it themselves. They have an old roaster down in the basement. <laughs> can smell it on the street. Some mornings you can smell it from our place. Four stories up. It's wonderful. Manhattan's best, someone called it. Oh, well, who knows? But it's very good. Sounds good. You'll like it. Good. You look nice. Thanks. So do you. It's bright. Yeah. It's one of the things I do miss. You know, all the, the space, the light. I could sit out here all morning. It's not that warm. Oh. You cold? Uh, not really, I just... Oh. Look, it has gotten chilly, I'm sorry. Do you want to go in? I'm okay. I just thought it would be nice to have a quick cup of coffee out here, you know? No, it, it is. Plus, kitchen, all the stuff is put away. But if you're cold, we can go. I'm not. Do you want your jacket? Yeah. Okay. It's that time of year. <laughs> yeah. I could feel it coming. 
honey, there's, there's no hurry. You know, I mean, if you wanted to hang out here alone, you know, for a little while. No, it's no big deal. You don't have to leave for about 20 minutes or so. I know. <clears throat> Thanks, Claire. You're all packed. Yes. If you miss something, it doesn't really matter. Movers will send along next month. <sighs> Look, I, <clears throat> I know this is hard for you. It's fine. It's the right decision. I know. <sighs> I really, I, well, I want to do everything I can to make this as smooth a transition for you. you uh, so does Mitch. Mm, good. <sighs> The actual departure, now that is the hardest part. Once we get there, we can relax and enjoy ourselves. I know. And you'll love it. You'll love New York. Can't wait. Oh, love it. It's the most exciting city. I know. It's not like Chicago. I mean, it is, it's really alive. I've read about that. I think you'll truly feel at home there. You know what I'm looking forward to? What? Seeing Broadway musicals. <laughs> well, Mitch can get us tickets. I mean, anything you'd like. Oh, and, and, and Rockefeller Center in winter, all the skaters. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, oh, also, also the many fine museums, really. I know how hard this is for you. Mm, yeah. Uh, listening to you say how hard it is for me is what's hard for me. Once you're there, you'll see all the possibilities that are available. Mm, yeah, restraints, lithium, electroshock. Schools. Schools. I mean, in, in the New York area alone, I mean, there, there's NYU, Columbia. Mm, bright college days, football games, road trips, necking in the quad. Or, if that's not what you want, we can help you find a job. I mean, Mitch has so many contacts all over town. Oh, oh, does he know anyone in the phone sex industry? I want to make this as easy as a transition as I can. Oh, no, it, it's going to be easy, Claire. It's going to be so fucking easy, you won't believe it. Thank you. Mm, yeah. I'm going to sit quietly on the plane to New York and, and live quietly in a cute apartment and, and, dan and answer Dr. Von Heimlich's questions very politely. You can see any doctor you want. Or you can see no doctor. Oh, no, no I, I would like to see a doctor called Dr. Von Heimlich. Please, find one. And, and, and I would like him to wear a monocle. <laughs> and I would like him to have a very soft, very well-upholstered couch so that I will be perfectly comfortable while I'm blaming everything don't come. Oh no, no, I, I, I'm coming. No, stay here. See how you do. I could. <laughs> you couldn't take care of yourself for, for five days. Oh, bullshit. <sighs> you slept all week. I have to cancel my flight. I, I missed a whole week of work. You know, I was this close to taking you to the hospital. I couldn't believe it when you finally dragged yourself up. I was tired. You were completely out of it, Catherine. You weren't even speaking. I didn't want to talk to you. Stay here. If you hate me so much. And do what? <laughs> You're the genius. Figure it out. You're still here. I, I um, I saw Claire leaving out front. I, I wasn't sure if I, if you, this, this fucking thing, it, it checks out. I, I, I've been over it twice with, with two different sets of guys, old old geeks and young geeks. It, it's it's weird, you know. I, I don't know where the techniques came from. Some some of the moves are. A very hard to follow. We can't find anything wrong with it. You know, there, there, there might be something wrong with it, but we can't. Yeah. It works. 
thought you might want to know. I already knew. I, I had to swear these guys to, to secrecy. See, they, they, they were jumping out of their skins. See, one email, and it's all over. I threatened them. I think we're safe. They're, they're, they're physical cowards. I had to see you. I'm leaving. I know. I... Just wait a minute, please. What do you want? You have the book. She, she told me you came by for it, and she gave it to you. You, you do whatever you, whatever you want with it. Just publish it. Catherine. Get Claire's permission and publish it. She, she doesn't care. She doesn't know anything about it anyway. I don't want Claire, Claire's permission. Oh, do you want mine? Publish it. Go for it. Have a press conference. Tell the world what my father discovered. I don't want to. Or fuck my father. Pass it off as your own work. Who cares? Write your own ticket to any math department in the country. Well, I don't think your father wrote it. You thought so last week? That was last week. I spent this week reading the proof. I, I think I understand it, more or less. It, it uses a, a lot of newer mathematical te techniques, you know, things that were developed in the last decade, uh, elliptic curves, modular forms. I, I think I learned more mathematics in, in this week than, than, than in four years of grad school. So? So the, the, the proof is, is very hip. Some safe house. What was your father doing the last 10 years? He wasn't well, was he? Are you done? I, I don't think he would have been able to master these new techniques. But he was a genius. But he was nuts. So he read about them later. Maybe. The books he would have needed are upstairs. Your dad dated everything. Even his most incoherent entries, he, he dated. There are no dates in this. The handwriting. Looks like your dad's. Parents and children sometimes have similar handwriting, especially if they spend a lot of time together. Interesting theory. I like it. I like it too. That's what I told you last week. I, I know. I blew it. I just... It's too bad. <laughs> the rest of it was, was really good. All of it. I loved your dad. I always liked you. I'd like to spend every minute with you. It, it's killer stuff. You got laid and you got the notebook. You're a genius. You're giving me way too much credit. I don't expect you to be happy with me. I just... I want... I don't know. I was hoping to discuss some of this with you. Before you left, just... Purely professional. I don't expect anything else. Forget it. I mean, we have questions. But working on this one must have been amazing. I'd love to just hear you talk about some of it. No. You'll have to deal with it eventually, you know. You, you can't ignore it. You'll have to get it published. You'll have to talk to someone. Take it, at least. Then, then I'll go. Here. I don't want it. Come on. Catherine, I, I'm trying to correct things. You can't. Do you hear me? You, you think you figured something out? You, you run over here so pleased with yourself because you changed your mind. And now you're certain. You're so, you're so sloppy. You don't know anything. The book, the math, the dates, the writing, all that stuff you just decided with your buddies. It just, it's not evident. It's just evidence. It, it doesn't finish the job. It doesn't prove anything. Okay. I would. Nothing! You should have trusted me! I know. So, Claire sold the house? Yeah. In Chicago, you're an adult. She wants me in New York. She wants to look after me. Do you need looking after? She thinks I do. You looked after your dad for five years. Yeah, so 
maybe it's my turn. You know, I, I kick and scream, but I don't know. Being taken care of. Doesn't sound so bad. I'm tired. And the house, it's a wreck. Let's face it, it was my dad's house. Nice house. It's old. Yes? And it's drafty as hell. The winters are rough. Nah, that's just Chicago. Either it's freezing inside or steam's on full blast and you're stifling. I don't mind the cold weather. It keeps you alert. Wait a few years. I've lived here my whole life. Yeah. Sure. Just like you. Still. I don't think I can spend another winter here. There's nothing wrong with you. I think I'm like my dad. I think so too. No. No, I'm, I'm afraid I'm like my dad. You're not him. Maybe I will be. Maybe. Maybe you'll be better. It didn't feel amazing. But what word did you use? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it, it was just connecting the dots. Some nights I could connect three or four. Sometimes they'd be really far apart and I'd have no idea how to get to the next one if there was a next one. You really never knew? No. No, I, I worked after midnight. I was usually in bed. Every night? No. When I got stuck, I'd, I'd watch TV. Sometimes if you couldn't sleep, you'd come downstairs and sit with me. And we'd talk. Not about math, I couldn't. But about the movie we were watching, I'd explain the stories. Or about fixing the heat, because I didn't want to. <laughs> we liked the radiators, even though they clanked in the middle of the night and made the air dry. <laughs> or we'd plan breakfast. Talk about what we were gonna eat together in the morning. Those nights were usually pretty good. I know that it works. But all I can see are the compromises and the approximations, places where it's stitched together. It's, it's lumpy. Dad's stuff was, was way more elegant when he was young. <laughs> we through it? Whatever's bothering you. Maybe you'll improve it. I don't know. Anything. Give, give it a shot. Maybe you'll discover something elegant. Okay, thank you all very much for coming today. Um, in the chat, we've included the phone numbers for the New York State Mental Health Hotline and the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. Um, so thank you all so much. I appreciate this.